1795. This is the quality of the sky I have to deal with in Brussels. This number indicates how bright the sky is. The lower the number, the brighter the sky. So, if you are in a very dark location, you can have a reading of 22, 22.4 magnitude um, per square arc second. If you are in the city, in a border class 9, uh, then you will read something like 17, 18, 18 point something. The problem is that the when you do astrophotography, the light coming from your target is diluted, is drawn into the light pollution. And so it's getting difficult to separate what is the signal from your deep sky target with the brightness of the sky you have around. This is a narrowband filter for color cameras. And what it does is simply to isolate from all the wavelengths of light specific bands in a very narrow interval of uh, wavelengths. So one of such bands is called H alpha and this is the emission of hydrogen alpha is about 656 nanometer and then you have around 500 nanometer you have the band for the emission of the O3 and uh, with the L announced this band is large enough that it will include also the HB emission band. So this type of filters allows you to do astrophotography from the city because they kill basically all the sky brightness except the light that falls in these narrow bands. What I want to show you today is not only that we can get pretty pictures from the, from the city using this type of filters, what I would like to show you is how these filters allows you to edit the images with four different looks. So let's see how we can create these false color images by recombining the bands that we can extract from an image taken with a narrow band filter on a color camera. We now move on the computer and what we need to do is to extract the individual bands that we have in our RGB images from the camera. So we need to extract the HA signal and we need to extract the O3 signal in order the, to recombine them differently so that we can create the different looks. Uh, we can create an HOO image, we can create an HHO image and things like that. So first of all, you can do that in AstroPixel Processor, that is the software I'm using here. You can do that with Serial, that is freeware. You can use that with, uh, you can do that with uh, PixInsight and probably some other software out there. I like AstroPixel Processor because among the big guys is probably arguably the easiest to use and gives very decent results. So, how does an RGB image straight from the camera looks like you have a very greenish image that color cast comes from the use of the filter so you need to have neutralized the background and uh, we can uh, use a very aggressive auto stretching settings and you can see here what I wanted to uh, photograph that is the Heart Nebula. You can also see the amp glow from my AZ 183MC. Now what we need to do is of course to calibrate all these images and to uh, stack them together in order to produce final image. If you go to the tab Raw Fit and you move away from the default algorithm that is this adaptive IRI disk and you look toward the end of the list you find four different algorithms that fits our uh, filter. We have a dual band filter that isolates HA and O3 bands and so we can use this HAO3 color algorithm to create an RGB color image of the two bands together. Uh, we have the equivalent, the black and white equivalent of the color image but then we can also extract individually the HA and the O3 bands, create two grayscale narrow band images that then we can use to combine different ways in order to have the different look we want. Now, if you want to do that in Photoshop, what you do is to save 
as TIFF 16 bit the individual images you have created with the uh, astrophotography software. You load them as separate document into Photoshop. This is how they look like. This is the mono version of the two bands together. This is the HA image. You can see here that it is much more contrasted. You have a lot of bright signal here from the half hydrogen emission. And then you have the O3. You see now the heart nebula is much less visible and contrasted because the signal is weak except for here in the core and maybe on this part of the of the fish nebula. Okay, so how do we use the how we combine these images together? The first thing to do is to select all the image and to create an RGB image that fits the dimension we have. So Ctrl A to select all the image on Windows or Command A if you are on a Mac. Then copy the image, Ctrl C or Command C. Go to File, New, Select from Clipboard and uh, the color mode you put RGB color. 16 bit, we don't care about the uh, background color. It can be black, can be white, doesn't matter. Now you see that if we look at the a narrow band image like HA and we go to see the channel, we have a grayscale image. But the new image has been created, you have all the red, green and blue channels. So what we do now to create an HOO look is to select the green the red channel only and to copy our HA image into this red channel. So Ctrl V or Command V to paste the image into the channel. If we look at the RGB, you see that basically we have a, a very red image. That's because we have no data assigned to the green and blue channel. So let's select the green channel now. And uh, what we want is to create an HOO. So we are going to get the O3 image. We select it, we copy it, and we paste it in the green channel and also in the blue channel. And now we look back at the RGB image and that is what you get. Now what happens if we want to do a uh, HHO image? Again, File, New, from Clipboard, change the color mode to RGB color, make sure this is 16-bit, background content we don't care, and we create it. And now we are going to paste the HA image, not only on the red channel, but also on the green channel. And the O3 will be assigned only to the blue channel. And this is how the HHO image looks like. This is the HOO. This color, these images are clearly force color, so I found no problem in tweaking them in order to uh, satisfy my, my, my taste on how they look. And so, for instance, what I would do with this HHO image that I don't like that much, like this, the first thing that I do is to take, to create a new layer and take my mono, I copy it, and I paste it in this new layer and I change the blending mode to luminosity. This is, you see how the image brightens up and I may tweak the opacity just a tad, something like maybe 50%. And then I create a snapshot I do that with Command Option Shift E on Mac or Control Alt Shift E on Windows. Now I use this image in order to further tweak the colors. Um, what I want to do is to concentrate on the colors alone. So I will go to Filter, Noise, Dust and Scratches. So this will remove, I will tweak the radius and I will tweak the threshold in order to remove anything but the brightest stars. 
something like so and then I do with filter I also add a small a little bit of Gaussian blur you see not much just a little bit and then I take this layer and I put in a group that I will call like colors with that I just call now a hue saturation adjustment layer and I will move the hue for the entire image I will change that until I see some orange blue colors appear on screen I like that combination much more than this yellow pale yellow colors so I like something like so what I will do now is to create another snapshot and uh, I will go to image adjustment match color and boost the color intensity and if I want to see the F that will try to neutralize the color cast you see if you neutralize you get a bit more of blue on the background I will leave it like that I will neutralize this color, these images are clearly force color, so I found no problem in tweaking them in order to uh, satisfy my, my, my taste on how they look. And so for instance, what I would do with this HOO -H -H -O image that I don't like that much, like this, the first thing I do is to take, to create a new layer and take my mono that will be my mono image with the two bands combined together I copy it and I paste it in this new layer and I change the blending mode to luminosity this is you see how the image brightens up and I may tweak the opacity just a tad something like maybe 50% and then I create a snapshot. I do that with Command Option Shift E on Mac or Control Alt Shift E on Windows. Now I use this image in order to further tweak the colors. Um, what I want to do is to concentrate on the colors alone. So I will go to Filter, Noise, Dust and Scratches. So this will remove, I will tweak the radius and I will tweak the threshold in order to remove anything but the brightest stars something like so and then I do with filter I also add a small a little bit of Gaussian blur you see not much just a little bit and then I take this layer and I put in a group that I will call like colors with that I just call now a hue saturation adjustment layer and I will move the hue for the entire image I will change that until I see some orange blue colors appear on screen I like that combination much more than this yellow pale yellow colors so I like something like so what I will do now is to create another snapshot and uh, I will go to image adjustment match color and boost the color intensity and if I want to see the F that will try to neutralize the color cast I will leave it like that I will neutralize so I will do something like so now I will change the blending mode for the color group to from pass through to color so this is my the original HHO image and this is how I tweaked the color and um, we can create now a new layer and of course now you can start to, to do all what, what you would do uh, maybe a little bit of stretching this is where we started from which I completely don't like it but this is where we can come in and I, re I really like this contrast between the blue in the dark areas and the orange of the highlights uh, and then we can of course use a curve to try to improve to tweak the contrast 
yeah maybe something like so and this is basically how you can tweak the colors and create different looks with simply using this filter which enables you to do astrophotography from the city and to have the same image in four different look so that is my HHO this is the HOO that is the mono and that is the RGB and you see why I don't like the RGB straight from the camera because everything is is basically shade of red there is no real different change in colors I don't really like as an image I prefer to have some color variation like this HOO image or this HHO image so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, that could inspire you to have a go and try to shoot narrow band from the city or from your location and play with the different type of looks you can get for the same image. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.